Welcome to another video from the FEM team. Uh, today I'm going to showcase you how to calculate a certain proportion of a quantity of a solute and solvent in a total mixture. In this case, as you see in the picture, we have uh, detergent being poured into the water and we're going to make a solution which will become a mixture eventually and the detergent, um, when it's diluted in water, it will become more in quantity. So we have a ratio given. Uh, 3 to 5, which means that if 3 parts of the total mixture which is given to us is 11 liters, let's say, that's the solution we are making for the mixture, and 5 parts of it will contain detergent. That means that there is more detergent, so in the picture it will be uh, more of detergent quantity, so that means it will become concentrated. Well, that's another topic, diluted concentrate will not go there. Let's stick to maths and calculating the uh, certain quantity of water in this mixture and detergent. First of all, you have to understand total volume of the mixture is 11 liters. Ratio is 3 to 5. Now, how many parts will make the 11 liter? It will be 8 parts because 3 plus 5, which gives us 8 parts, is equal to 11 liters, which means that total 8 parts, including water plus detergent, will be equal to 11 liters. Now, the question is, what will be the value of liter for one part of the mixture? Yes, that's simple math. So, one part is equals to 11 divided by 8 liter. Okay. From there, the whole problem becomes easy to solve. And if you pull that up in your calculator, that will give you 11 divided by 8, which is equals to 1.375. So one part of the mixture is equals to 1.375 liters. Having said that now, the most important thing for you guys is to calculate the quantity of water in the total mixture that we have made by adding detergent. So we simply do that because three parts out of the total eight parts is equal to water. So we multiply that with equal to one part is equal to 1.375 liters. And by doing that, we will get the volume of the water in the total mixture. So that was how easy it was. You can pull that in your calculator by just multiplying this value with three. That gives you 4.125 liters, of course. Don't forget the units of the quantity. And now there are two ways to calculate the remaining part of the mixture, which contains detergent. One way is that uh, so the quantity of detergent, let me just write it. I'm going to use the short form debt for detergent. It will be 5 into 1.375. And that will give you, if you pull that in your calculator, or put that in your calculator. So 5 into 1.375. 6.375. So 6.875 liters and if you add both of these it will give you 11 liters so it shows our answer is correct you can do that for any proportion try changing values and changing the value of the total mixture and apply the same methodology you'll get correct answer each time now an important thing before I um, end this video. Another way to find the remaining part of detergent would have been 11 minus uh, this quantity which we have found 4.125 liter. This was all about today's video. Stay tuned for the next video and uh, take care and do, sub do subscribe to our channel to support free education and uh, hit the like button if you like the video. Have a nice day. Till next video. Goodbye.